Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Wendy Williams slammed Meghan Markle's emotional interview that she did, and it made me give Wendy the side eye. Now, if you don't know, Meghan Markle did do an interview that did go viral, and this interview was taken from Meghan and her husband, Prince Harry's documentary called Harry and Meghan, An African Journey. And Meghan Markle opened up about dealing with the stress of being targeted by the British tabloids. When I first met my now husband, my friends were really happy because I was so happy, but my British friends said to me, I'm sure he's great, but you shouldn't do it because the British tabloids will destroy your life. And I very naively, I'm American, we don't have that there. What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense, I'm not in tabloids. I didn't get it. Look, any woman when they're, especially when they're pregnant, you're really, vulnerable and so that was made really challenging and then when you have a newborn I mean, you know you, mm -hmm. it's really, a long time ago but i remember yeah, yeah. you know as, and especially as a woman it's really it's a lot so you add this on top of just trying to be a new mom or trying to be a newlywed it's um yeah, well, I guess, and also thank you for asking, because not many people have asked if I'm okay, but it's, uh, it's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes. And the answer is, would it be fair to say not really okay, as in it's really been a struggle? Yes. This was very sad to watch because I do feel bad for Megan. Megan has been under a lot of pressure ever since she married into the royal family. Last year in 2018, Meghan Markle's world changed when she married Prince Harry. She went from being an actress on the show Suits to now being the Duchess of Sussex, and she has been under a lot of pressure. She has been getting harassed by tabloids like the Daily Mail, The Sun, and the Daily Mirrors, and it has gotten so bad that both Harry and Meghan have taken measures to sue these tabloids for constantly invading their privacy and harassing and criticizing Meghan Markle. On top of that, Meghan has to deal with the pressures of being a new mom and a new wife and having to fulfill her royal duties. Now, even though Meghan was warned about the British tabloids, she never expected it to be as bad as it is because she's the only royal that they seem to target. And we all know they're targeting her because she's a half black woman. Let's keep it real. And also they're causing her more stress by exploiting her tense relationship with her father. But Wendy Williams doesn't seem to care all that much about Meghan Markle's problems. And she said she does not feel sorry for her. Uh, Meghan Markle, everybody says that she was warned not to marry Prince Harry. You know who warned her? Some hating ass girlfriend of hers. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you meet a prince and your friend's gonna tell you not to marry? Get out, or, or Megan's lying to try to give a sympathy, you know, for us to give her sympathy. Anyway, to, yeah, and the weird thing about this interview that she did, she's standing up the whole time. Like, there's no chair, there, there, there's no shade. Like, she's standing the whole time in a trench coat, interviewing. It's just kind of awkward. That doesn't make any sense, I'm not in tabloids. I didn't get it. Yes, you did. <laughs> you knew exactly what you were doing. And I applaud her plotation on the royal situation. <laughs> but please, don't try to garner sympathy from us. You knew what you were doing. By the way, your friend is a hater. And so whoever told you that, if someone in fact told you that, she needs to be dismissed. I, I really do like them, but her, there's something about her. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know what, um, girl, I'm Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, don't be surprised that the paparazzi are everywhere. Of course, because you're now a royal. They weren't following you when you were on suit. We didn't even know who you were. <laughs> e except, except when you came for employment here at Wendy and wanted to be one of our runway models. And she wanted to be a runway model here at Wendy. And Suzanne, yeah. 
she, she wanted to be an expert. Tell it. Okay, so she called up our talent department. She called our lovely bookers, Carrie and Siobhan, and she said, I'm Mar Meghan Markle from Suits, and we were there. Right. I was like, what? Tell it. She said, I'm really into fashion. Go. I would love to come to your show and be a fashion expert and do the runway and all that stuff. By the time we decided to book her, she was already engaged. Yup. That's all I'm saying. But Meghan Markle, nobody feels sorry for you. You knew what you were signing up for, girl. Now, I honestly had to give Wendy the side eye for this because I assumed that she would be a little bit more sympathetic because she too has gone through some things in the public eye and she too has given interviews where she literally would break down and cry. How are you and the family doing? I've, I've still got a very full life that I really endured. Please don't make me cry. Okay, I won't. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I didn't plan on this, but it is what it is. To change your last no, name? No, my name is Wendy Hunter. Okay. And that's my son's name. And you can't take away... Tw don't make me... Next. Wendy was the same woman who was crying about her divorce. She was crying at the fact that the whole world knew that her no good husband had a whole baby outside of the marriage and she was crying at the fact that she had to leave him. Now Wendy had a lot of emotional moments on TV and we sympathize with her but it's a shame she can't show that same sympathy to another woman who has also been going through a lot. But anyway, I do wish the best for Meghan Markle because she's going to need it. I know it's hard for her to be around the royal family. She doesn't really fit in. And on top of that, she's being picked on by the media. They're trying to break her down the same way they broke Princess Diana, but I hope she remains strong. Anyway, let's move on to another topic. I do want to talk about Megan Thee Stallion. Now, Megan Thee Stallion recently got into a spat with her makeup artist on Instagram because her makeup artist was upset that she did not credit him. Megan posted a video from her Vogue interview talking about how she learned how to do makeup and her makeup artist, Akila Face, commented and said, makeup by Akila Face. And Megan responded and said, and me. And he clapped back and said, no, you filled in your eyebrows and put on your lighter MAC powder when I was done. This is not a makeup war. I always do your makeup and never get credited. That is hurtful. And Megan replied and said, whoa, first of all, if you was really hurt, you could have texted me this. Second, you right, it ain't a war because we all know I do my makeup and you touch it up or I let you start it and I'll finish it. Now, Megan's makeup artist, Akila Face, felt some type of way about this, and he was ranting about it on his Instagram story. He said, I did this makeup, and Megan touched up her eyebrows and put her MAC powder on her face like she does every time. I do her face. All artists should be paid and tagged, especially when you're talented. End of discussion. Now this all seemed pretty petty to me, especially because this makeup artist made a big deal out of nothing. Like Megan said, he could have literally texted her and told her how he felt instead of getting in his feelings about it. Now he's not wrong for wanting to be acknowledged because he needs some promotion for his business, but there's a more professional way to go about it. And I thought he was being petty for saying she only fills in her brow and uses a little powder because he did admit in another post that Megan does help do her own makeup. He said this in one of his posts, many people don't know, but me and Megan will literally sit up and collaborate on her face sometimes. She's still a young woman who loves her makeup and loves to play in it. So sometimes I'll do all the makeup, sometimes she will, and sometimes we collab. I'm just grateful she chose me as her makeup artist, my beautiful Stally, makeup by Akila Face, and the stallion. So he basically confirmed what Megan said. She definitely does help do her own makeup. 
So I don't understand the competitive energy between them, but I will say this. A killer face is a talented makeup artist, but he has to be more professional. Megan is his client and she's paying him. So she's not required to post him every single time. But I do understand that makeup artists want to be credited so they could get more business. So this is something he could have explained to Megan off social media. And just for the record, Megan has tagged him before and she also mentioned him in her Vogue interview. I like to kill a lot. I like to kill a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and we get into it like every day. Right? <laughs> Don't do it like that. Don't put it like that, friend. People are like, I'm not. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> Anyway, what do y'all think about this? Do you think Megan was wrong for not crediting her makeup artist enough? Or do you think her makeup artist was doing too much? Tell me what you all think down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.